Okay, so welcome back to another video. So here we have a question from the 2018 Math Olympiad, and this is in the country Nepal. This is question number two, and this is revolving based on algebra. So we are given four different equations. We have ax plus by equals 7, ax squared plus by squared equals 49, ax cubed plus by cubed equals 133, and ax to the fourth plus by to the fourth is equal 406. And so what we're being asked is to find the value of 2014 times x plus y minus x times y quantity, subtract 100 times a plus b quantity. So at a first glance, you'd think that we would need to solve this in terms of a system of equations, which that is correct. But in other way, well, rather, when looking at this, you would think to yourself that you would need to solve the value for each of those variables. So we would need to find what is x, y, a, and b equal to uh, stand alone on its own. But we're not actually going to do that. Instead, that's actually going to make things a little bit difficult, especially when we're dealing with ones with linear, quadratic, cubic, and, you know, fourth degree equation. I forgot the name on, there's a name for that, but anyway. Um, but we're not actually going to take into the approach of finding the value of each variables. What we're instead going to do is we're going to actually take into a little bit of a hybrid dealing with addition. Well, specifically what we want to do in this, in this case is we want to find the value of what x plus y is equal to, x times y is equal to, and then a plus b is equal to to find those values on its own. That way, with that coming in handy, we can actually just simply just plug in those values and then we get what we need to find the um, answer that is. So yes, well, we will be using the systems of equations, but of course with math Olympiads like this, dealing with a little bit of algebra, of course, we're actually gonna have to take things into a creative approach and that's why this is the creative approach instead of having to solve things, solve each variable. And so we're actually taking a little bit about combination of together with the hybrids of those variables and then solving those values together with it to plug it in as we need to. So um, nothing more that needs to be said. Um, so this is actually technically, it's a math Olympiad for one. So of course you got to get that creative juices flow and then think things outside the box and, and not into, not really in a way, well, yes, how you learn in algebra, but again, taking things into another detour and getting things a little bit like smooth with it. So anyway, with that, let's actually just jump right in. So as mentioned, we want to solve what x plus y is equal to, x times y is equal to, and a plus b is equal to. Then afterwards, we can actually just plug those back in and then get the final answer that we need. So to actually get start things off with doing things a little bit creative approach, let's start with ax squared plus by squared. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to multiply um, x plus y to both sides of the equation. So that's actually going to be x plus y. And so what that yields us, if you perform the FOIL method afterwards and then simplify things a little further, we have ax cubed plus by cubed. And then add this with x times y multiply with ax plus b y and that's nice because from those given equations we can actually just substitute the terms in just like that and so what we have is the left hand side is going to yield us so we have that ax squared plus by squared we know that that's going to equal 49 then we multiply with x plus y and then we know what ax cubed plus by cubed is that's 133 so just substitute that back in and then add this with x times y, and we know ax plus by, that's equal to 7, so that yields us with 7 times x plus, um, 7 times x times y. So we have one equation, so let's actually do another one. So we're going to start with the cubic equation, ax cubed plus by cubed. And of course, we're going to do the same thing and multiply x plus y to both sides. So doing this, x cubed plus by cubed, and then multiply with x plus y then that's actually going to yield us and then performing all that simplification we have ax to the fourth plus by to the fourth add this with x times y and then multiply with ax square and then add this with by square okay and so from here again we already know what we we have our given values so we just plug those back in so i have now 133 then multiply with x plus y and so ax to the fourth plus by to the fourth that's 406 then add this with x times y and then we know ax plus by ax squared plus by squared is 49 so add this with 49 x times y so we have our two equations so let me actually put this down as a systems of equations over here on the right side so that's going to yield us over here so we have that 49 times x plus y is equal to 133 add this with 7 times x times y and then the other equation 406 
Well, 133, forgot to say that part, the left-hand side, 133 times x plus y is equal to 406, and then add this with 49 times x times y. Okay, and so from here, we have our two equations, so I'm actually going to label these as equation number one for the top, and then equation number two for the bottom. And so we have our systems of equations, so that's nice. So how can we solve this? Well, let's actually start by taking equation number one and multiply that by seven. So let me actually write the procedure first. And then afterwards, what we do here is we're gonna actually then subtract from equation two, because I think from first glance, as you'll notice that if I multiply seven, I have a 49x times y over here. If I subtract, then those two terms um, are going to isolate. And so what's left is nice is that we have an x plus y, which we said in the beginning, that's actually one of the constants that we want to solve for. And so after applying all that um, multiplication and then well, pre um, performing all those steps, so for one, we're gonna have that the top equation after multiplying by seven is gonna give us 343 times x plus y. So I'll write this uh, um, 343 times x plus y and then multiply by seven, that's gonna give us 931. Add this with um, 49 times x times y. And then we're gonna subtract from equation two. So 133 x plus y equals 406. And then add this with 49 xy, subtract those. And then of course, these two terms are gonna um, disappear. And so this is gonna leave us with 210 times x plus y equal 525. And so all that's left is just divide the two ten to both sides. And so we have that x plus y is indeed just equal to five divided by two. Okay, and so from that, let's actually plug the five, x plus y value back into the original equation over here. So 343 then times five over two, which is equal 931, then plus four, 49 x times y. And so this is actually very nice to say that we can actually solve for our value of x times y. So that's gonna give us over here, this is gonna um, be 17, 15 divided by two, then subtract the um, nine, 931 to both sides, and so that'll give us negative 147 divided by two, and so equals 49 x times y. And so just divide 49 to both sides, and we have that x, x times y is going to equal to negative three over two. So that's great. So we have x plus y, we have our x times y value, Good so far, so that's at least we can actually substitute that back in, but that leaves us with a plus b, b that we have to figure out. The next step to that is pre pretty much the same thing as we did for these equations over here, but we're actually gonna start with the ax plus by, and then multiply with x plus y. So let me actually move on to a different color for this. So we're gonna start with ax plus b then times y, multiply with x plus y, and of course just put in the, you know, use the foil, and so this will give us, and then simplify, so we have ax squared, add this with by squared, and so we have this, add this with x times y, and then multiply with a plus b, which is nice because that's what we want to solve for, but this is also extra nice as well because we already know what ax squared plus by squared is, we know what xy is, we know this, and then we also know what the value for these are as we just solved already. So let me actually first just box these two values just to clarify what we have solved for so far. Okay, so now putting all this back in, so ax plus by, so that's gonna be seven, then x plus y we solved for, that's five divided by two, set this equal to, so ax squared plus by squared, so that's equal to 49, and then add this with x plus y then, which is negative three over two, so let me actually change this to a subtraction, minus three over two, and then multiply with a plus b, which is what we want to solve for. And so putting all this out, we have 35 divided by two, then equals to, of course, just 49, then minus, so actually let me first subtract the 49 to both sides, well rather, I'm just gonna save you the steps because this is pretty simple from here, but after solving all this out, we have that a plus b is going to equal 21. And so that actually gives us our a plus b. And so we are actually down to the final step since we solve for our three constants, well, the hybrids of the combination with the addition is multiplication. So all that's left is just to plug these three into here and then we get our final answer. So let's actually do that. So we have 2014, then x plus y, which we had that's five over two, then minus x times y, which we have that, that's negative three over two, so that changes to a plus three over two, then minus 100, and then a plus b we solve for is 21. And so we see that five plus three is eight over two, so that's gonna be four, so we have 2014, 2014, however you wanna say it, times four, then minus 100, 
um, times 21. Then completing all this um, computation, now we get that the final answer is 5,956. And so with that, that actually concludes today's problem, which is leads us to this final value over here, just like that with um, the whole creative approach with dealing with this stuff equation, solving for, you know, the combination of the addition and subtraction of the term rather than finding the individual variables by itself. So there you have it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.